Hello, and welcome to our presentation where myself, Paul, Paige, Samantha, and Isabella will dive into the diverse approach for promoting health in schools across Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Manitoba, and Spain. Nova Scotia's comprehensive approach emphasizes holistic health through the Universal Lunch Program, nutritional standards, and the integration of health education across the curriculum. However, access to mental health support and deeper community engagement remains areas of improvement. A key highlight is the incorporation of sustainable efforts, including school gardens and farm-to-table programs, which reflects a growing commitment to environmentally sustainable health initiatives. On a national scale, Nova Scotia's strengths are well aligned with Canada's Joint Consortium for School Health Standards, yet gaps remain in mental health services, a common challenge across provinces. In an area where the 2024 Participation Report Card emphasizes the need for increased physical activities and mental well-being support. So Nova Scotia can do a little bit better on that too. New Brunswick's Health Promoting Schools, um, New Brunswick Healthy Learners in Schools program is a cornerstone of its healthy promoting strategy aligned with the comprehensive school health model. The focus here is on healthy eating, physical activity, and mental health, supported by policies like Policy 711 uh, for nutrition and the LINK program for enhanced mental wellness. Despite these challenge, despite this challenges persist, especially in increasing daily physical activity with only 24.8% of students remaining uh, meeting national guidelines. Uh, a standout in New Brunswick is the Student Wellness and Education Survey, a tool used to gather insights into students' well-being, driving policy improvements, and collaboration between health and education departments. This initiative, use of data, empowers decision makers to address gaps, particularly found around physical activity. Manitoba, Manitoba's holistic health programs Manitoba's health programs focus heavily on nutrition, physical activity, and mental health. The Child Nutrition Council of Manitoba funds breakfast and lunch programs, provide expert guidance to schools, and 2024 marks a milestone with increased provincial funding. On the mental health front, the Mental Health Promotion Schools document aligns with the JCSH guidelines, offering whole school strategies to support emotional and social well-being. Manitoba's key challenge, however, uh, lies in the physical education area, where provincial requirements are not fully met. Uh, a, a proposed next step in hiring more certified physical education teachers to ensure comprehensive movement uh, education across all grade levels. Uh, Spain. Spain's decentralized health promoting model is in contrast to centralized approach in Canadian provinces. Spain operates a decentralized health promoting model where individual schools and municipalities lead initiatives. Although there is no national health promoting schools framework, Spain benefits from European programs like Schools for Health in Europe, uh, SHEEP, which provides a whole school approach to health. The emphasis is in Spain is more on physical activity and nutrition with less focus on mental health, a gap in comparison to Canada's broader national strategies. Okay, let's compare Canada's national standards. Uh, framework, the JCSH framework uh, provides unified approach across the country, emphasizing collaboration between education and health sections. Equity, diversity, and inclusion are core pillars, yet challenges around mental health and physical activity persist. As reflected in the participation D plus grade for youth activity levels, European programs, while decentralized, often place a stronger emphasis on sustainability, something Canada could draw from to enhance its holistic health strategies. Uh, so some critical lessons and highlights that we got. Um, we're going to explore three takeaways that we would So. First one is sustainability and health programs. Nova Scotia and Spain excel at integrating sustainability into their health promotion efforts, whether through the school gardens or reducing carbon footprints with local food sourcing. Uh, this is crucial areas for future policy de development um, aligning with health and environmental responsibilities. Number two, mental health services and accessibility. Across the board, mental health support remains a significant gap, particularly in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Manitoba's integrating mental health strategy offers a template, but the lack of mental health 
professionals within schools is an issue that requires urgent national attention. Data-driven decision-making. New Brunswick's Students Wellness Survey demonstrates the power of data to shape healthy promoting initiatives. The tool which collects and shares insights into students' health provides a model for other provinces to enhance policy making and address critical issues, particularly in physical activity and mental health. Uh, as we've seen uh, today and in our presentation, while Canada's national standards offer a solid foundation for health promotion, there's some room for improvement, particularly in areas like mental health and sustainability. Provinces like Nova Scotia and New Brunswick are making strides, but learning from international approaches like those in Spain can further enrich our efforts Stay tuned for more highlights on initiative strategies in the school health promotion. All right, have fun uh, looking at our presentation. Thank you, everybody, for all your hard work on this. Uh, we really enjoy looking at all your presentations, and I really like to thank my group members, and uh, thank you very much.